know, we had an old Greyhound bus that we toured on, from what I recall, and it pretty much had the same seats, uh, probably a more worn out than normal, uh, probably why we got it. But I remember, you know, the days were, uh, was, were long and hard. Uh, we'd work late and get up early to travel. But I, I remember one thing about your dad. He had a, an addiction mm -hmm. to White Castle burgers. <laughs> mm. And those were the Sounds worst familiar. burgers I had <laughs> ever. And I remember him always wanting to stop at a White Castle. And we'd be sitting in there and I could hear my stomach. Stomach growling, kind of like, uh, oh God, no. uh, I'd hear it growling, like, oh no, I just, I just can't put one of those things in my <laughs> Not stomach. Not another gut burger, no. <laughs> gut burger, that's, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, I remember, I remember those. And uh, I also have some very fond memories of um, sitting, you know, uh, backstage after we, you know, we would, we would go on first. Uh, uh, and of course, I'd put Kenny out there first to throw him to the lions first, because I figured if he got eaten, I could always find some excuse not to go out. Uh, but Kenny and I would go out and we'd, we'd do our show, and then Billy Preston would come out. And then, uh, depending on when you know we'd have to get up and move and all that stuff, we might get a chance to stay and watch them play. And I was always amazed at how both he and Bonnie could sing so high and... Um, night after night and hit the notes uh, and not be hoarse, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I, I thought his voice uh, was one of the great male uh, singing voices of all time. And of course, the two of them together, um, you just don't, uh, you don't hear that kind of harmony. Not even today, I don't know who I would even say that, that does that. Yeah. But um, together, um, they had a very special quality. If you ever live in a ghetto 